Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create smooth endings from finished tracks in Reaper. Now in a previous video, I already showed you how to do this, but I think I've improved it for this video. Let's take a look. I have a project in front of me here with some music, and I cut off the ending of it for my use. But it's not gonna sound natural with an abrupt ending, like this. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. So we want it to sound smoother, and we could do that by adding effects to the ending. Now I showed you in that previous video how to do it like this. I created a delay. Right now it doesn't even and a reverb. Right now it doesn't even which both can hang over to the ending. And we turned them on like this. Starting with a delay, we touched the wet knob and showed the track envelope for that parameter and did the same with the reverb. Touch this parameter and showed the track envelope for that parameter which we could see down here. And we did, we went right to the end, held down shift and created a point right here and here, brought this point up like this. So it turned on that effect and do the same with this one. Hold down shift and create some points and bring it up. And now it sounds like this. There you go. With just the effect at the end. Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go But I found a better and quicker way to do this. So let's undo all this and let's go to our preferences right here. Let's go to the tab for the media item defaults and let's turn on overlap and crossfade items when splitting. We can leave this at whatever setting we want. We can change it later. I'm gonna change this to linear on both of these shapes. So now, let's split our item right where we want the effect to turn on. Use the S key to split the item. We can fix the crossfade like this. So the effects are gonna turn on over here and fade in over to here. Let's tighten it up like this. Now I'm gonna drag this to a new track. Let's first turn off auto crossfades and drag this down below. Let's also turn on locking. So it's gonna prevent any left right movement. This way it won't put the item out of time. Drag it down to a new track. And now this section is on a different track, but it should sound completely normal. As this one fades out, this one fades in. Let it go. But it still cuts off at the end. So now we add the effects to this track. Let's move it, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac. And that moves the effects from this track to this one. Now we can just set it how we prefer. Let's start with reverb. Let it go. Right about there feels good. And the same with delay. To let it go. To let it go. So now the effect is only going to be heard on this piece. So if we play it from the beginning, like this. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. It's nice and smooth at the end, with no effect over here and all the effects only over here. Let's do it again on this section and we can see how quick it'll be. We both know it's gonna hurt, but not as much as this does. Again, it stops very abruptly over here. Let's turn on auto crossfades. 
split it right here, readjust a crossfade, go about here, turn off the auto crossfades right here, and drag it down. And now the effect should be the same that we set up before, because it's already on this track. But just this Perfect. Now, if you want to keep this on the same track, we can just drag it back up. But let's first put the effect on this item and just drag it from here to here. Now, these effects are on this item. So we can move them up to here. Let's turn back on auto crossfades and drag it up. And now, the effect is just on this item. Just this Notice it stops over here because we need to change another setting. Let's go to our preferences and let's scroll down to media and change this setting, take effects tail length. Let's make it 10,000 milliseconds, which is 10 seconds. And now it'll sound like this. But not as much as this does. And we can do the same on the first one and move it to this item. Now the effects are on this item. Let's move this up. Now we could delete this track as we don't need it, and the effects are just on this item. Now, if we want to adjust it separately on each item, now we could do that because the effects are separate. Let's readjust our reverb and our delay. And have a different setting for this one, because the effects are separate. And now we have separate effects for the ending, but nothing over here. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt, but not as much as this does. So we can make each section perfect and still keep it on the same track. I think this way is a bit quicker than working with envelopes. But of course, you could choose your preference. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create smooth endings from finished tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!